Welcome to wild, wonderful West Virginia, home of America's finest whitewater. Join us for a trip on one of West Virginia's best rivers as we discover the action sport of the 90s, whitewater rafting. We're rafting with Ace Whitewater, West Virginia's premier outfitter, featuring self-bailing rafts, the area's most experienced professional guides, and all the whitewater thrills you can handle. West Virginia's rafting season begins in the spring. The most adventurous rafters of the year know that March and April and May bring the year's biggest water. Springtime flows of West Virginia's New River often exceed those of the Grand Canyon of the Colorado. Huge roller coaster waves, pounding holes and warm, comfortable wetsuits make spring rafting something special. Summertime brings warmer weather and lower water levels. But even in the driest summer season, the New River has higher flows than any other eastern river. An Ace's exclusive fleet of three sizes of self-bailing rafts means that you'll always be in the best raft for any water level. And you'll never have to bail. Ace guarantees it. Summer offers a variety of trips, including family float trips on the mild Prince Canyon, overnight trips of up to five days on the river, horseback rides to combine with your raft trip, fishing trips, and even kayak clinics. Plus our most popular trip of all, the Big Water Classic, a full 13 miles of scenic beauty, whitewater action. Big Water Classic starts with mild rapids and relaxing pools. Finishes with roller coaster action all the way to the takeout underneath the world's largest arch bridge. The New River has great white water all summer long. You might even want to try a summertime trip on the Gauley River. Reduced summer flows make the Gauley a tight technical run perfect for Ace's tiny 12 foot rafts or our fleet of duckies. Small, stable, one person self bailing inflatable kayaks. A professional guide accompanies your trip to ensure your fun and safety. Whether it's the new or the Gauley River, West Virginia is the place to go for the best in summertime rafting. Fall in West Virginia means the Gauley River at its wild and crazy best. Scheduled dam releases guarantee the year's best whitewater. Rated in the world's top 10, the Lost Paddle Canyon of the Gauley challenges the best paddlers. The Cliffside Canyon section is great for less experienced rafters. Cool Indian summer nights make the Gauley season the perfect time for an overnight adventure. And the 26-mile marathon lets you experience the entire Gauley River in a single day. Come see why people come from around the world to raft the Gauley. Don't forget fall on the New River. October's foliage in the spectacular New River Gorge is a sight to remember. Fall means uncrowded trips, warm water, and great times. Any time of the year when you raft with Ace, you can enjoy our 700 acre outdoor center with its five stocked fishing lakes, 25 miles of hiking and bike trails, individual and group camping, or just plain fun and relaxation. You can combine either camping or motel accommodations with a full breakfast, a steak dinner with all the trimmings, and any of Ace's 38 different raft trips to make a package that's unbeatable for convenience and low, low prices. For free information on any of Ace's Whitewater Adventures, call 1-800-223-2641. So sit down, relax, and enjoy your trip. And thank you for choosing Ace Whitewater, West Virginia's premier outfitter. We're at the Mason Branch put into the Lower Gauley, which means that we'll have 14 miles of white water and about 50 rapids to navigate today. Lots of good white water, class 4, class 5 type stuff, and it should be a whole lot of fun. 
So let's take a few moments and go meet our guides. Our trip leader for the day will be Mr. Biggin right here. How's it going there, Steve? Real good. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. I've got four victims of a guest here. They happen to all be uh, new at this little experience. They've never been in whitewater wax. My goodness. Before. So we're going to go out and have some really good fun. A day of experimentation sounds good. Let's meet your guests. On Candy Cam, Cam we got to talk. Got to give me your name, where you're from. Yeah. I'm this Mary Miller record. from Greenville, Ohio. From Greenville, Ohio. John from Greenville. Ohio. All right. And over here. Calvin. Right on. Calvin from Louisville. You guys have any expectations for today's trip? Try to stay in the raft. Like try to stay in the running. raft. I like the way you say that. Try. Stay away from getting an, an unwanted enema. I hear you. No enemas today. I'm talking about a turbo nasal enema. Woo wee! Well, we'll see if they happen out there on the Gallery River. And another of our noble and fearless professional raft guides today will be Tor, Captain America. <laughs> All right, so this is our vidiot, Steve Yook. And this is Tor's crew right here. What's your name there? Gary Rasmussen, Phoenix, Arizona. Greg Rasmussen, Indianapolis. All right. Right there, who are you? He doesn't know. Oh, maybe he does. <laughs> Wayne Rasmussen, Louisville, Kentucky. Yep. Uh, Tom, where's Phoenix? And this is Tom from Phoenix right here. Now, are, do we have three brothers here? Three brothers. Oh, so we might see a family feud in the raft today. <laughs> no Who doubt. knows? No and to provide our entertainment for the video and on the river today, Mr. Jay Norfleet and his lovely lady will be taking down these duckies right here. And these duckies are a bit smaller than a raft. Definitely more prone to flipping. We'll see if they do today on the golly. So rare. And here he is, folks, the man responsible for getting us down to the river today, our driver. <laughs> he looks excited, doesn't he? David, okay. All right, we're all rafters are carrying their boats down towards the water and preparing to get in. In just a few moments, we'll be in the white water. All right, Big and his crew have now got their raft into the water, and they will get into the raft. Now, before we get to our first major rapid, they'll have three or four miles to get warmed up, and that's good because these guys haven't been rafting before. Biggin's going to tell them how to get everything just right, so when they do hit those big rapids, they can do them well. All right, everybody sit on the outside edge of the raft. All right, let's go left back. Left back. Forward. Yeah, and they look like they've already got the hang of it a bit. And I'm sure by the time we see them down at Woods Ferry, they'll be doing great. Tor and his crew bring their boat down to the water. And they get the opportunity to step into the water, which is always fun. Hi, Mom. Come on. Hi, son. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get this boat floating here. Well, Tor's crew is now in their raft in the water and getting ready to go. So I'm going to jump in my boat and head downstream and I'll see y'all at the first major rapid. Right upstream here we see a hydraulic known as Gillespie's Hole giving a ducky a hard time. Now I believe, well, there's a ducky swimming. One of our rafts is going to do a bit of surfing here like this ducky has and hopefully they'll have better luck. All right, Tor and Raft are working their way up in there. I believe they've got it. Oh, it sucks them in, spins them around, and they are surfing. That's great. That's great. That's Woo! Whoa! It pitched them about, but they stay in the boat, looking good. And they've got another hydraulic, and that's a whole lot of fun. Here, huh? This is Jump Off Rock, or also known as Acapulco Rock. <laughs> This is our first jumper, and I'd like to ask you, sir, why are you jumping off this rock? Because I'm going to push him if he doesn't. Well said! <laughs> There's one in the water. Woo! Hey, did you hold your nose? Yeah! Did Do you? it! Be some spectacular, Calvin. Wow! And Calvin goes in. Good, oh. Good fun. Good fun. Kick you out of the... Looks like Tor and crew are back at it. I believe there's one in the water over there. Tor is attempting a rescue as the boat continues to surf. 
Oh, looks like they got them back in now. That's good, but they're still in that hydraulic surfing away. And now the hydraulics let them go. This is crazy, but these guys are going to do it anyhow. Go, oh, Tom. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, these guys are going to do go, it anyhow. Go, Tom. Yes. Okay. Are you, are you ready for this? We're ready for this. How many feet is this? About a thousand. Okay. Go. No, it varies. Ah! Into the boat. The okay. war scream. Geronimo. That's a primal scream, actually. Remember this. Go first, longer you take the jump, the longer you swim is back to the boat. Wow. Yes, I hate you. I'll go. Yeah, see, I'm okay. going to move, Don. I'll go. Yeah! Oh, boom! He didn't come up here. Oh, he did now. Ah! Woo! That's two away. Hey, get over here. Is there one trying to escape? Oh, we have an escapee. No jumping for him. Flash! And that is our final jumper off Acapulco Rock today, so let's go find some action. All right, our first major rapid is Woods Ferry, class four plus, maybe class five. Often called little insignificant because it's much like a rapid on the upper galley. Here we see a large hydraulic in the center. Just downstream of that is Julie's Juicer, which will flip a raft if you're not careful. It doesn't look like a hard piece of white water, but it sure can be. So we'll see how our rafts do here today. Well, here's a raft coming down through Woods Ferry, a bit ahead of our group. This is the United States Forest Service. They're out here patrolling the river, making sure everybody's uh, having a good time. And that is your tax dollars hard at work, folks. These guys are having a nice run. I'm gonna get a little hole action there. See it pitch them around in the raft, and now they begin to stroke away from Julie's juicer, because they know that if they get on it, they flip, but they're safely around the side of it. It looks like a good run. Alright, our trip leader Biggin and his crew of paddlers are stroking it down. Looking good as they slam through some waves. Looks like they've learned their lessons well as those paddles go right into the water. Now the big one. Getting ready to drop over the edge. Woohoo! Right on through it with powerful paddle strokes that are going to pull them away from the juicer. And that's a great down here guys looks like a lot of fun Thor and his crew coming downstream and these guys are out for a wild ride today I believe they're gonna be hitting all the holes hydraulics and waves they can back towards that center line which does mean they're going to get a large hit down here at the bottom. Look how relaxed they are. These are some golly veterans. Been down the upper last year. Come back to do it again and they get a really powerful hit. See how much it slows down that raft. Now they're working their way away from the juicer. Oh my goodness they're on it. Jay hits a smooth line down through there and is by it. 
Meanwhile, Julie is swimming away, and we get to see exactly what happens when you swim this rapid. A lot of time spent underwater bashing through waves. Julie bring herself over to the side. Hopefully she'll get through five boat. Looks like she's got it. Wow. Stroking it out hard, coming around the bend is Biggin and his crew. They're gonna take that big old right hand line right over there near the big Coots Rock. Big drop coming up. The brothers boat. They look pretty relaxed coming into the top of this rapid. Getting a nice little ride off that wave. Now they start to bring it in forward. Drop down the big old tongue there. Now they're headed right to five boat hole, so we'll see how they do. Looks like it lets them go through. Nicely done. Looks good here at Coons Bloom Rapid. Let's go downstream and see if we can't find something new. All right, it's lunchtime, and we here we have our multi-talented guide, Thor, cooking up some lunch for us. We got chickens and burgers. <laughs> oh, we also have some beans and potato salad and all sorts of good stuff. Make sure we have enough fuel to make it down the creek. How's that lunch look, guys? Great, 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 great. great. Right on. We're not done yet. Rick, you can't let people make it through. Who washed out there? That was, uh, wasn't it? That's probably me. Yeah, that's probably me. I don't know what and then Julie's juicer got you all. <laughs> Shiny side up at Julie's. It was beautiful. Well, lunch was good, but now it's time for some more white water, and we are down here in Lower Mass Rapid. That's the kind of hit we're going to be looking for today. Upstream of that big hydraulic in Lower Mass is the Indecision Rock in the center of the river. And you need to make a choice to go either to the right or left of that so that you don't run into it. And above that, way around the bend, is Upper Mass Rapid, which we won't be able to see our rafts come through, but is quite interesting. Looks like they've got everyone in the boat and that's good. Now they power it down in and I think they're going to take this one head on. Oh yeah, here it comes. Good face washer and they're through. Tor and his crew come down out upper mass. Now they're sitting a little bit differently than they have been the rest of the day. They're in an R5 configuration, and we'll see how that does. This is a big power hitting way to sit, so they're going to be going for it down here. Looking good. Woo, that hole really slows them down, but they make it on through. To say that's great. Good runs here at Lower Mass Rapid. Let's find something else. And here we are. 